what is a supply chain? How does it even affect me? You know that cup of milk you just drank? Let me show you an example. First, the cows are milked. Then the milk is processed and ready for transport. Sometimes milk travels a long way to a packaging factory. Then the milk is packaged for customers to buy. Finally, that nice cup of milk is ready for you to drink. People in supply chain love details. For your glass of milk, they had to take care of every little step to make sure the milk went from the cow to you as safely and cost effective as possible. They have to consider all different kinds of costs, more than you typically imagine. There's manufacturing costs, material costs, then you get to transportation costs, storage costs. What happens in supply chains if you don't consider all the costs? You get overloaded. There are so many parts to a supply chain. You can work in any industry. If you want to work with farmers, you can. If you'd rather work with transportation and fuel, you can do that too. You can even work with the cows if you want to. Possible careers include supply chain managers, inventory analysts, quality control manager, and even BYU global supply chain teachers. Businesses no longer compete against businesses. It's supply chain against supply chain, and that's where the real fun is. Supply chains operate on a worldwide basis, so if you want to see the world and work with different cultures, you better check us out.